What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now we didn't really do much today on Monday, but are we still going to reject in the triple Qs? Let's go over it. And by the way, we did post some plays for this upcoming week. If you wanna come in and join the plays, we're aiming for another 50, 60 to 75% gain if you wanna come in. We are up 250% in the past two weeks. So if you wanna come in, the link is in the description of the video or in the comments of the video if you wanna come into the Discord. Now we didn't really do much on Monday, so I didn't really post anything. So this is for the upcoming day. Now, right now, the triple Qs is still at resistance. The channel did grow a little bit more. Now, if we do reject here, we do have support around 422. And then also if we do reject on the NAS, we do have support of around, oh, around 17,375. And then also if we do reject on the SP500, we do have support around probably around 4,930. And then on SPY, if we do reject, we do have support on SPY around 490. Now remember, if you are a new trader or if you are a old trader, I talk about this all the time. All the indexes move the same. I don't get why other YouTubers tell you different stories for different indexes and different stocks. Everything moves together. It makes me so mad when other YouTubers don't break it down like this. So if you haven't sub to the channel, I guarantee you'll learn a lot more off this channel than any other channel on here. Now, just be very careful. It's really gonna come down to the Mega 7. So let's go over the Mega 7 real quick and then let's break down a little bit more. Now, Meta did break down to the support level of around, around 425. We are hovering right above it. Now, if we do break above this right here, this is going to be in a channel right here. So if we do break, back into the channel on meta it's probably going to like pretty much just make a channel pretty much but in a down down you know downtrend pretty much now if we do get above of oh i would say around 450 meta is going to be in this kind of like a downtrend channel and then you if you get above 450 483 is going to be your next uh resistance but really it's going to take a lot of pressure into the market to pump meta even more but here's the thing guys the biggest thing that you need to worry about is if the triple Qs does drop, say if it does drop and it goes to support of around 422, that could actually break a lot of these set mega seven companies on their support levels. So it can actually be a crazy week. And then also on Tuesday, we have uh, Amazon earnings. Amazon is 6% of the triple Qs that can break meta. And then also on, I think Thursday or Friday, Apple earnings is coming up. So the biggest thing that you need to worry about this week is Apple's earnings because Apple can actually push a lot of these mega seven companies to break their support. And if they break support, it is actually going to crash the market, not crash the market like, oh, four or like, 280 in the triple Qs overnight. No, it's going to break this channel that I've been talking about for the past couple months. All this channel right here is the exact same thing as Tesla's channel right here, or it's the exact same thing as Amazon's channel right here, because those channels are the exact same thing as this channel in the like in the NAS and in the triple Qs. They all share the same channel this channel right here. This is the exact same channel as Meta's channel. And no other YouTuber is gonna tell you this. They're just gonna show you a MACD and be like, oh, we're going to drop a rally. No, it's just basic common knowledge on how to understand the market. Now, if Apple earnings actually comes in bad, this is going to crack this channel. And slowly but surely, when if my, if Meta breaks this channel and says it's dro it, you know it drops down to here, and we already got a wind of what it's like when a Mega Seven company drops, like I've been telling, I've been warning you guys about this. The like Meta was making a top, and look how fast it dropped overnight. Yes, we can drop very fast, more than faster than we can rally. So just throwing that out there. Now if AMD actually does go back to its support, also it's actually on support and actually not that far away from it now we do have support of around uh, 139 and then if meta drops and all the indexes drop and this breaks 139 this is going to break its channel so uh, it's going to be very critical this upcoming weeks like on a lot of these tech companies 
But on Tesla, we did actually push the top of the channel. So if you've been following along, sub to the channel, great job, you caught this top around 203. Now there is a little bit more room if it decides to push. I don't think it's going to. I mean, it could, but it really, it's gonna come down to the, you know, the or the triple Qs. Now on Amazon, Amazon actually came back into its uh, smaller channel on the just smaller time frame. Um, let's actually zoom in. I kind of want to see and make sure. No, actually, it rejected off of the top, uh, bottom of the. Yeah, so pretty much this right here became as a resistance line, this old support. So great job if you caught that. That's why you sub the channel. Now, if we do reject here, then there's nothing holding up Amazon all the way down to around 164. So if it decides to drop on earnings, 164 is gonna be your support, and that's probably where it's gonna drop if it has a bad earnings, if it has a really bad you know, drop. Now, Apple did make another push. I think it's, let me zoom in so we can get a more of an accurate reading. Yeah, so Apple still is in the channel right here. Now, we do have support on Apple around 163. It is at resistance around 173. So if this does reject, then definitely pay attention around 163. Now, on Microsoft, Microsoft did break its smaller channel and its bigger channel, that the one I've been talking about. Now, guys, listen very closely. This is super important. Microsoft and Apple are going to decide the faith of the market. Now, if they break this channel, this big channel that it's been going in, that I've been pointing out for months and months and months, if this breaks, then the triple Qs is going lower. It is going to break this channel right here, and we are definitely going to 350, 360. It's going to happen. It can probably happen slow, it can happen fast, but it's gonna happen in one way or another, and you need to be prepared for it. Now, stop following these other YouTubers that just show you MACDs. That's not what you do when you trade. It's all about understanding the market and how it moves as a whole. So just remember, guys, these support levels are critical and it's super important. And then also we have FOMC minutes or we have FOMC coming up very soon. Um, guys, inflation is going to spike very soon and you need to come to realization of it and if you don't understand i talk about it in my last couple of videos if you don't understand inflation then i guess i deleted the chart now back here when inflation was nine percent and then it dropped to two percent because the market dropped inflation's been holding three percent because the interest rates are high so this rally is going to be a late factor into inflation but inflation will spike because we're going to have to pay for this economy speeding up. Now, it's not going to probably pump to 9%, but 6% is definitely going to push the NAS into the lower mid section of this channel. And if you don't understand, come in the Discord. I teach you all this one-on-one. -on -one. So just throwing that out there. Oh, and by the way, if you were this guy, the no FSU2, I don't know, the N-O-S-F-E-R... ATU. If you're this guy and you're asked about membership, sorry, I was asleep. So come back into the chat and I'll help you out. And then also Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just trading sideways. It's waiting for the triple Qs to do something. So if the triple Qs does drop very soon, you will see Bitcoin face around 59,000. Now, if we decide to push to 445 in the triple Qs, this is definitely going to go back to 70,000. But remember, guys, Bitcoin follows the market it is literally the same charts. If you don't understand, come in the Discord and I'll help you out. Now on DXY, DXY is consolidating and it's just waiting pretty much, I think, for the 10-year yield to do something. Now, if we do break above around 106.50, your next level is going to be around, around 107 on resistance. On the VIX, the VIX is coming back down to support. And if this decides to push, you do have resistance around 17 point, around $18. And then you do have support around seven, around 1345. And then also here's the big one. 10 year yield came down a little bit. Now, if this does decide to push, you are looking at 4.7% and that's enough to push the triple Q's down to 415. Now on uh, crude oil, crude oil is on support. Remember guys, this is super important. Listen, crude oil, will move your oil stocks. They share, they they run off the crude oil's price. So if crude oil drops, oil stocks drop. If crude oil runs up, uh, oil stocks run up. 
Now check this out. Oil stocks have been making a really nice push. If this breaks support of around $82.50, your next stop is gonna be around 64. And if that happens, your oil stocks are going to crash. Nine is back at 2.29 cents. Um, it is not a buy. I would still wait for $2 flat if you are into that kind of stuff. On puts and calls, we have not gotten anything crazy. But like I said in my past videos, pay attention to these spikes. These spikes will give you a heads up on what the market's going to do. If the market's about to drop really hard, you'll see a bunch of calls in the system. If you see a, uh, a bunch of calls in the system, it's probably going to drop really hard. So just pay attention to that also. And then also, here's one more thing I do want to uh, talk about. I forgot to talk about NVDA. NVDA did make a push to the top of its channel. If this decides to push and break down to the support level of around 766, this is going to push the triple Qs and everything with it. Now, we, if this does break above this uh, resistance right here, you do have a resistance around uh, uh, 935. So just wanted to uh, update you guys. The market really didn't do anything on Monday, so I didn't really post anything. But if you guys want to come in, guys, I teach one-on-one -on -one lessons. Um, it's super cheap, honestly. I really should be charging like three, four hundred dollars per lesson. I mean, Ricky charges five hundred dollars. Um, I have more knowledge than Ricky. I think Ricky just tells you a lot of. I can't say it on YouTube, but if you want to come in. Um, I have a couple classes, a lot of openings open this week. So if you want to come in and do a one on one, it's like fifty hundred dollars. It depends on what you want to do. But if you want to come in and talk to me personally, the link is in the description or in the comments of the video. Later, guys.